Hello guys, welcome to SWK Tutorials. Today I will be teaching you guys how to do V-Ray Proxy in 3ds Max. I have also done this same tutorial in Maya. But this time I am doing it in 3ds Max. If you are working with big scenes and have to render tremendous heavy scenes with millions of polygons that even 3ds Max can't handle then you have to learn how to use V-Ray Proxy. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is V-Ray Proxy? V-Ray Proxy imports a geometry from an external VR mesh file at render time only. The original heavy geometry is not present in the scene. Instead of this heavy geometry, only light geometry is shown in the viewport which is necessary for previewing. Let's render the scene and see the result. This allows the rendering of scenes with millions of polygons more than 3ds Max itself can handle. How to create V-Ray Proxy? Before I create V-Ray Proxy, Let's press 7 on the keyboard and turn on statistics. Now click here. Go to configure viewport. Go to statistics. Make sure total plus selection is turned on. Click OK. Select both of them. Currently this tree has 6,88,081 polys. So what we will do, uh, we will turn this tree into V-Ray Proxy. Select the mesh, right click, click on V-Ray Mesh Export. Browse the path. Next, decide between these two parameters. Currently, these two are separate objects. I have selected two objects. If I click here, export all selected objects in a single file, then I will only have a one combined V-Ray proxy for these two objects. But if I click here, then I will have a separate V-Ray proxy for both of them. It means in this object, I will have two separate V-Ray proxies. But I always recommend or you can say I like to have one single file. Next, if you have an animation, you can click here. You can define your own range or you can use the scene range. It's up to you. Since I don't have an animation, I will uncheck it. Next, the most important parameter. Don't forget to click it or check it. This option will make the VR mesh file plus it will also import it at the same place. So you don't have to import it again. Set the faces in preview. I normally set it to 15%. It's up to you. If you have selected multiple objects and checked, export all selected objects in a single file, then you must check create multi sub objects. Why? For example, you have selected three objects. Then V-Ray will create multi sub object with three IDs and automatically apply it to the newly created V-Ray proxy. This will make sure that you don't have any material issues. Click OK. Now the V-Ray proxy is created in the scene, but the mesh file is created in the folder on your hard disk. You can also see the number of polygons reduced from 6,80,081 to 9,996. Now let's check V-Ray proxy parameters. Here are the most important parameters that you need. I can change it to bounding box. I can change it to edge, to a point, the whole mesh. But the most recommended method is preview from file faces. 
if you want to change the material you can simply select it from here this tree has actually seven materials six were applied on this part and one was this part the last one so you can simply go and change them now just render it one more time so guys to wrap up i will say the main advantage of using v-ray proxy is that v-ray proxy makes your scene light whenever i am creating an exterior scene where i have a lot of trees plants i always convert my trees and plants into v-ray proxy so that my scene is light and i can easily render them if you like this tutorial give it a like if you love it subscribe to my channel keep creating guys bye bye